back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a current favourites video. Current favourites is basically just stuff that I've been enjoying currently and that I've just started to like. So let's get started with the video. Wait, before I start, I just wanted to say that this is going to be quite a short video because I've only got like a handful of things that I can call my favourites right now. So yeah. My first favourite at the current moment are these hoop earrings that I had um, in my summer haul. So like I recently bought them and they're from River Island. I really like them because I've never really worn hoops before and I thought like I wouldn't really like wearing hoops. Uh, especially having started off wearing big hoops as well. But I really really like them. They make me look so much older and they just... I don't know, they look, they make you look like really pretty and I feel like they frame your face really well. So yeah, I really like hoop earrings at the moment. Another favourite of mine are like these sunglasses also from River Island. I just love the detail on them. I recently bought them and I love the shape because I was trying to find glasses that suited me. Uh, not that I just liked and these shape of glasses really suit me I feel. And even my friend that I went shopping with, Abigail, um, she agreed that the shape um, suited me. And I'm just trying to put them on, what a fail. But yeah, these are what they look like on. And that is just the side, that's what they look like on. And I feel like they really suit me, like the shape and everything. Yeah, I really like the gold detail on it and like the, because I like sort of cat eye. Um, glasses so I like how it has like a bit of cat eye incorporated into the square frame. One of my favourites is this book Gratitude Works by Robert A. Emmons and this was given to me by a friend which is really really sweet of her so thank you so much I really enjoy it if you're watching this and it just teaches you how to be grateful in life and how when you're grateful positive things happen and you just learn to appreciate life and things more and like appreciate things in your life more basically is what I'm trying to say. I'm on page 42 and it's really really good it just guides you on how to make a gratitude journal and um, think and feel more positively and she gave it to me because I was, I was feeling really down and I wasn't feeling myself so she I'm not Posi not as positive as I could feel so she gave this to me and it really really helped and I and I started doing a gratitude journal which is one of my favorites which is next and I started doing a gratitude journal I started feeling more positive and like wanted to do more things I, lo I was looking on the brighter side of life and I still am I'm still doing my gratitude journal and I'm um, just like feeling more positive and I started doing more videos on YouTube which is one of the things that I probably wouldn't have done if I didn't start reading this book and being more grateful. My favourites is this Malong diary, I don't know if I said that right but it's a Korean diary. It's a diary that you can write in for about two years because it's got it covers 2016 and 2017 which I find really helpful and then it's got like different pages that you have different things on so for example it's got like a school planner so I'm going to write all my subjects in the school planner when I start and then there's like just like a uh, list of uh, uh, days and then you can write little lists I've just written achievements that I've done and there's like a to-do list and I've done this bit where it has the month and the days well you can write your own month which I find really useful and um, yeah I've just written all my gratitude things on on these pages this is one of my favorites another one of my favorites is this eyebrow uh, eyebrow sculpt automatic pencil by Kiko Milano and I just really like the fact that it makes my eyebrows look really nice so, I used to use Sleek, but Sleek, I I used to use, sometimes it didn't look that good, and then sometimes when I'd done it, I was just like, yes, my eyebrows are fleeky. But I wanted consistency, so I just got 
and I found that when I just stopped using the sleep for a while and started using an eyebrow pencil like I could um like fill in my brows better so I just decided to get an eyebrow crayon from Kiko and this side has a crayon bit and then this side has a spoolie on it like an eyebrow brush so I thought that was really helpful that you get like two in one so I just decided to get it and it was on sale but I can't remember how it was I, how much it was I think it was about four pounds fifty on sale so I got two because usually the, I can't remember how much they are usually but I just thought I might as well get two so that if I run out the first one I don't have to go back immediately to get a full price one so yeah that's just one of my favorites my favorites is this sculpting brush by real techniques and i really like it out of all the other brushes because i find it's like the most like i could get any other fan brush i could get any other setting brush but with this sculpting brush um like i've used a contour brush before and it wasn't as good like it wasn't as controlled but this one because of the way it's shaped it's more controlled and i don't get a harsh line with it and it's easy to blend with as well. So this is one of my favourites also. That's it for my very short favourites video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did. Comment below. I want, And also I want to start like a gratitude journal series. So every month I show you a flip through of my gratitude journal. How I've decorated it. And let me know if you want me to do that from, uh, with my Malong diary. And please... Yeah, please give me some feedback on this video and I will see you soon. Bye.